Hola, I'm Fivers and welcome to Revive Witch. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new UR doll and at her unique equipment that has just been released. The new doll is called Nayat and she is a brimstone assassin. Taking a look at her stats at level 90 and extension 4, we can see that Nayat has the standard stats among assassins and probably the best ones. As we always do, we are going to check her skills and passive at max level. Her skill 1 is called Blade Road and costs your energy. This is the standard cost among the new assassins. Nayat cuts down a single target, inflicting physical damage equal to 200% of attack for 3 times. For the next 10 seconds, Nayat's critical chance increases by 30%. This skill is by far, in terms of playing damage, the strongest skill 1 among assassins. The normal percentage of damage among assassins goes around 300% and 400%. Nayat does 600% way more than the others. But not only that, if we compare her skill 1 with the skill 1 of Matt Bave, for example, Matt does 200% and increases her critical chance by 5% using 1 order energy, so after using 2, she will deal 400% and increases her critical chance by 10%. On the other hand, Nayat does 600% and increases her critical chance by 30%. So yeah, I don't need to show you anything else to understand how powerful is this ability. Then her skill 2 is is called Soul Break and costs for Chaos Energy. This is the standard cost among assassins. Nayat draws her blade and makes a frontal slash, then performs an Iato attack that deals physical damage equal to 950% of attack to all enemies. Well, for people that don't know what is the meaning of Iato, Iato is just a Japanese martial art using a sword. So basically, she will attack using her sword with this type of Japanese technique and she will deal a huge amount of damage to all enemies. But in case that you wanna know, no. She doesn't deal more damage than Isabel's skill 2 versus just one enemy, and in Revive Witch the AoE is not that important in most of the cases. To finish, her passive is called Mind Blade, and at level 2 is, after entering combat, critical damage increases by 10% every 5 seconds, up to a maximum of 50%, self attack increases by 6%, up to a maximum of 30%. Her passive is really good, another way to increase her critical chance even more after using her skill 1, and the critical damage will increase also, so it's double benefit. Now, let's take a look at her unique equipment. Her unique equipment is called Soul Game Flame Chopper. At level 60 gives 5250 attack, 45% critical damage, 15% critical rate, and 12750 health. Every 3 seconds increases physical damage dealt by all allies by 32% for 20 seconds. Honestly, this unique equipment will be useless in most of the fights, because in Revive Witch we want short fights under 30 seconds in most of the cases, so her unique equipment will not provide any effect in this type of fights, and it will be only useful to increase her stats. Well, should you summon Nayat? As it happened with most of the assassins after Isabel, I can't recommend you to summon for Nayat at all if you have Isabel. If you are brand new in the game and you don't have any good physical damage dealer, then I can tell you that Nayat will be pretty useful to help you continue in the story, in Broken Lands and all the other game modes, but you have to know that she is not the best and you will want to replace her in the future. Her damage is really good, but her main problem is that she doesn't have any ability to reduce the physical defense of the enemies, so versus enemies with high defense you will need someone else in the team to help you reduce the enemy's physical defense or Nayat will not deal that much damage. As always, if you like her design or you just want the doll, just pull for her. Actually, the design of this character is pretty good in my opinion. Just as a recommendation, this is in my opinion the best equipment for Nayat. I recommend the items in the first row and the items of the second row if you are missing some of the items in the first row. She just needs gear with high attack to improve the performance of her skills. And that's it for today's video, I hope that I have helped you. Thank you so much for watching, leave a comment, drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more Revive Witch content in the future and see you in the next video. Ciao!